Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 to the public. We've been waiting for this for quite some time. It came in at 311.2 megabytes on my 7 Plus, and this particular update fixes a lot of little bugs. But let's first take a look at the build number. This is build number 15B93, and this particular build is the exact same as beta 5. So if you're on beta 5, just go into your settings, go down to general, go all the way to the bottom, delete your beta profile, and once you've done that, reboot, you're now on the final version. There's nothing to install, you've had it all along, and that's all there is to it. Now this particular version does a couple things. It adds over 70 emoji, and here's just some of them. They have different uh, colors and things for each thing, such as skin tones and things like that for all of these different emojis, so it makes it over 70. And then here we have some more. You'll see there's some vampire, wizard, uh, all sorts of different ones, zombie. So those are available now and your friends will see those if you've been on a beta. Now the other thing they've done with this particular update is bring back 3D Touch for the app switcher. So if you've got 3D Touch on your device, the app switcher now works with the 3D Touch Press. They took that away for some time and now it's back. Now they've released a lot of different fixes for things such as photos and accessibility and that Wi-Fi security update with WPA2, the crack fix is now available on this particular update. So you don't have to worry about that with this update that fixes that issue. If you've been following me, iOS 11.1 beta 5, which is the same as this, had great battery life, fixed things like 3D touch lag, all sorts of things are working really well, and speed is pretty good. I did a Geekbench and the current version is 3560 for single core and 6042 for multi-core. Now the previous public release was 11.0 uh, that I ran this Geekbench on, so it gives you an idea of what the score is. They're very comparable and that just means everything should be fast and fluid. Everything seems to be loading quickly. As you see here's my web page, it's loading nice and quickly, no issues there, and everything is working really well. I've had no issues whatsoever, I think it's very stable, and you could definitely update it. Thanks again to Cameron and Connor for sending this wallpaper along, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let me know if you find anything else that's significant and new in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching, this is Aaron, I'll see you next time.